Good morning, dear friends. I am Dr. Reginam Linus, Associate Professor and HOD of Electrical Engineering Department at Sanjay Godavati University, Kolhapur. I welcome all of you for in this Double Knowledge Channel. Uh, in, under this Power Electronic Simulation of Series, in this lecture, I am going to explain what is how the half bridge, how to simulate this half bridge uh, single phase square wave inverter and uh, full bridge square wave inverter and why the output voltage, uh, how the output voltage waveform will be. And uh, from this, after this lecture, you will come to know, after this entire video, you will come to know that why we need to go for this sine PWM inverter and multi uh, pulse width modulation or, uh, or other, uh, other things you will come to know. So let me uh, share my simulation file so that you can easily uh, understand how the how I have done this simulation. Let me share this uh, screen. So at this stretch, I am going to explain today this single phase half wave square wave inverter and the single phase full wave full bridge square wave inverter. This is the circuit of single phase half wave inverter. In normal cases, we will have a separate source of uh, Vs by 2 and Vs by 2. So instead of that, I have connected this capacitor here. So this voltage will be Vs by 2, this voltage will be another Vs by 2. So if this is 300 volt, this voltage will be appear across this circuit, this terminal, this between these two terminal will be 150. Similarly, this terminal will be 150. Therefore, when the switch is on, correct, this switch will be on in particular half period of the cycle, then switch will be, this switch will be on remaining half period of the cycle. So accordingly, I have given the firing pulses here. I am going to generate the frequency of AC is 50 hertz. Therefore, time period will be 1 by 50, 0.02. Pulse width 50. 50 means 50 percentage only the switch will be on. And after that, switch will be off. So that I will generate positive half cycle. Then the second pulse, if you see here, this amplitude period is 0.02, pulse width also 50, but I phase shifted by 0.01. So that what happened during this 0.01 first, uh, first half, half period, first switch will be on, this switch will be off. Remaining period, that first switch will be off and this switch will be on. This is what I have generated by using this pulse generator. Why I have connected one resistance here? If I connect directly the capacitor, it will be to, there is having an error. Due to that, I have connected on resistance of a small value, 0 0.0001, approximately 0 values. Then I have connected here resistive load or inductive R load and all. Let me first connect this resistive load. Now, if you run this simulation for 0 0.02 seconds, we will come to know that first switch is on this particular time, then it will be off, then it will be on, the next half cycle will start, it will be on and so on. Then second switch will be on after 0 0.01 seconds. So that is why we are switching on this two. So accordingly, if you use this two combinedly, first switch will be on, output voltage will be positive, then uh, positive till zero. Then next switch is on, then negative voltage will be there. Then similarly, it will be repeated for four cycles. Since I have run the simulation for 0 0.08 seconds. Then the current wave shape also same as the voltage wave shape. The reason is we are connecting only resistive load. Why this 150? We have given 300 volt here. We have given this input voltage of 300. But as we have connected the capacitor, the voltage across this terminal will be 150. This will be 150. So this 150 will be appear across the load whenever the switches are the switches are going to operate. So this is what this is the waveform of single phase half bridge inverter. Then single phase full bridge inverter. There is no capacitor at all. We have two switches, four switches. So how I have to operate? I have given the input of 300 volt. How I have to operate? These two switches will be this diagonal switches will be on in the positive half cycle same time. Then. Uh, a negative half cycle, in order to get the negative half cycle, we have to switch on these two at the same time. I am going to generate the cycle for 50 hertz supply. 
so the time period will be 0.02 so till 0.01 these two first two diagonal switches will be on then read from 0.01 to 0.02 these two diagonal switches will be on accordingly i have given the firing pulses of 0.02 and 50 and 0 this is for this switch as well as this switch then these two are different this will be the switches are phase delay of 0.01 and pulse width is 50 hertz period will be power why this phase delay i already told you these two switches will be switch on after these two switches are switch off this is the remaining two switches that means at a time of 0.01 if you run the simulation again we will come to know this output voltage will be uh, we have this output voltage of 300 volt and minus 300 volt plus 300 volt and minus 300 volt so this this uh, full wave inverter have full bridge square wave inverter have much more greater generate much more greater output double the voltage of half bridge square wave inverter then let me uh, take this uh, this uh, let me take this uh, fft analysis so if you if you take this fft uh, so this is the FFT uh, uh, analysis I am going to do. So this is a square wave. I am going to analyze for uh, uh, for uh, three cycles. Number of cycles is this is the first cycle, then second cycle, and third cycle. So this number of cycle is three. Starting time from zero to this uh, till this point not six. I am going to analyze. We know already fundamental frequency is fifty hertz. Therefore, I am going to generate, I am going to understand how it will be for uh, some cycles, for different frequencies, how these frequencies will be. Then uh, here, uh, this, this waveforms, it will show, if you show, the, if you take this display, here you can see if this is the fundamental component, fundamental component will be more, then we have uh, that uh, this is for, this is the component of third order of harmonics, this is the component of fifth order of harmonics, this is the component of seventh order of harmonics. So the square wave is nothing but sum of the fundamental component and third order of harmonics, fifth order of harmonics and seventh order of harmonics. They have seven, third, four, fifth, seventh or more harmonics contents or more. Moreover, the sign, the square wave, we have the THD value of 45%. So that it is highly distorted waveform, moreover it will generate more heat than it is not good for this type of square wave, it is not good for controlling DC AC motor and different power application, losses will also more. So due to that we should necess we have to be either eliminate separately third order harmonics or fifth order harmonics or seventh order harmonics that is called as selective harmonics elimination method or otherwise we can use multiple a switching method, multi uh, pulse different multi switching so that all the other third order, fourth third order, seventh order harmonics can be eliminated. I will explain in this next lecture how one can do the simulation for multiple pulse width uh, modulation and uh, how one can do the selective order harmonics elimination in this next lecture. I hope this uh, this is understandable. And we have in this, uh, we can conclude with this half wave inverter, it will, give, it will generate the power output voltage of uh, half of the input supply. Full wave inverter, we will get this full wave square inverter, we will get that maximum output voltage of whatever the supply DC voltage which we are giving. Second one, this half wave inverter having uh, this square wave inverter output voltage will be pure square wave so that the square wave is nothing but sum of fundamental component first order of harmonics sorry third order of harmonics fifth order of harmonics seventh order of harmonics so thd value is more so more distorted waveform due to that losses will be more heat will be generated if we give the supply to the induction motor and all and losses is also more so these are all the main uh, main conclusion we can come to know how uh, when we analyze this simulation of single phase half bridge and full bridge square wave invert i hope this topic is understandable if you have any doubts kindly comment on it and uh, those who have not subscribed this channel kindly subscribe it wish you all the best thank you